Hey, this is Luke with Saw Strong. In this video, we're gonna be teaching how to go out there and just catch a bunch of pinfish. I was at a, a tackle shop and I saw they were for a dollar a piece and, and they're super easy to catch. So you do not need to go spend money on pinfish. They're very easy to catch. So in this video, we're gonna just show you how to do it. So all you need is just a couple basics. You need some chum. We're using the blackout chum that we came out with recently. You need a bucket and you need a cast net. And you just need to know how to at least be decently, decently well at throwing a cast net. Those pinfish absolutely love this chum. If you get in a decent spot, you're gonna have some pinfish. And so we'll talk you through the type of spot to go to as well. So we're gonna go ahead and just start putting this all together. Um, so number one is just, uh, you know, put the chum in the bucket. That's the reason why we have it. Dump some chum in there. We actually have a scoop. I lost mine, uh, but we have a scoop to, to make it super simple in case you do get this blackout. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way where we just put the chum in there. And then we need to put a little bit of water in. This is where the scoop comes in handy so that you know you can, you can get the right amount. I'm gonna kind of do it the manual method where just kind of let a little bit of water go in there. You don't wanna to have too much, don't wanna to have too little. You want it the right consistency, that's gonna be pretty close. All right, so just to show how this, how this chum should look, and again, with the scoop, you're gonna see this. There's not any puddles. There's also not any dry chum. This is all just a nice, nice kind of a moist little chum balls that pop out and you just throw them in there throw them in the water, and what's gonna happen is that that chum ball, as you can probably see on there, it just kind of explodes in the water. Some of it stays on the surface, all right? This is a specified chum where some stays on the surface, some is sinking down, and it gets the fish in all the water column. Obviously, pinfish are gonna be holding toward the bottom in most cases, so the pinfish will be getting that, but while doing this, you can also catch a ton of other bait fish. There, there's, uh, you know, pilchards love this, also known as white bait, uh, thread fin, really most bait fish, other like mullet don't like it, but pretty much all other bait fish just can't can't resist this stuff. So uh, while while targeting pinfish, you will certainly have some other uh, other species, including like ballyhoo and stuff like that too. So the key though is just to just to cover ground. And so in this case, we're using the current and the wind. So this is a, a fortunate situation where the current and the wind are going together. They're both going from this way over. As far as spot selection, um, you wanna have current, you wanna have some sort of bottom structure, like pinfish, they're not just gonna sit on the open, um, you know, open uh, just mud or, or dirt. In many cases, usually they'll prefer to have some sort of bottom structure. In this case, we have seagrass. So we're right on the edge of a seagrass flat. We have a bridge right over here. And so we have current flow, That's, that bridge is constricting the current flow. It's coming through this channel and we're right on the edge of the channel. So if you get yourself in a spot like that, where you have current flow, you have some structure on the bottom, in this case grass, but you could also have you know, oysters or other stuff. If you, if you have oysters, make sure not to throw the net on them though. But uh, as long as you have some sort of bottom structure, there's gonna be some fish there. And then it's just a matter of just having that chum go, go across them and they'll, they'll just follow the chum slick right up to the boat. And that's where the handy cast net comes into play. All right, so when doing this, it's just important just to, to throw some out in the weight a little bit. Let that chum go down and have some polarized glasses so you can see what's down there, if any. I'm seeing, I'm not seeing any big flashes. I'm seeing some definite pinfish. They're holding toward the bottom, but, but uh, if there's white bait or pilchards, you're gonna start seeing some flash activity. And uh, it's just nice to know what kind of bait's gonna be down there. Also the size. You wanna be looking at the size of the bait and just to make sure that your cast net isn't, isn't, doesn't have the mesh that's too, that's too big or too small. So it's a huge, ooh, I just saw a good flash. But it's a huge hassle if you have a net with a, with a wide, a, like a 3 8 inch mesh and then some tiny bait comes in there, you're just gonna Christmas tree them and it's just, it's just a, a bad deal. So I usually stick with a, a quarter inch mesh size for up here in the flats because even if the bait is small, it won't gill them. And, and so it just, it just makes life a whole lot easier. And, uh, so we have a decent amount of pinfish, and hopefully, I did see one, one good flash, that might mean we have some pilchards in there too. But uh, some fish are starting to congregate, so we're gonna keep doing it for a bit. We'll let it probably do another two, three minutes and just let them congregate. And what I'm doing is I'm throwing it in the exact same spot every time. Exact same spot every time. You don't wanna spread it around. Um, you want them to be in as tight of a ball as possible. That way, they're just a lot easier to net. All right, so we've been doing this for a few minutes now, and we have a pretty good amount of pinfish. They're, they're right here. So one thing to, to be mindful of is make sure that your shadow isn't gonna be where you're casting. 
Right now the sun, our shadow is, is going over this way, so I'm keeping the bait away from the shadow because when they, you know, these pin fit, a lot of people do this type of stuff where they go out and catch bait. These fish aren't smart, but they're also not stupid. So they get, they get used to being scared or, or being, being mindful of some motion up above them. Obviously birds are diving on them, but a lot of people are doing this. So you wanna make sure that your shadow, that they cannot see your shadow or they don't, they don't have the shadow going over them, that's gonna spook them. They are pretty quick, even though it is shallow, it's probably about three feet deep right here. They can absolutely out, uh, out swim the net. So wanna make sure that we don't have our shadow in place. So I'm keeping it away from the shadow. I'm keeping them, I keep hitting it right here at the same time. And then as I'm doing this, in between some of the throws, I've been getting the net ready. So right now we'll have one throw, and now I'll just set it down, get the net ready, take my time, just make sure everything's good. There's a lot of chum right there. Those fish aren't going anywhere anytime soon. So I don't, we don't have to, to rush. What you wanna make sure not to do is bang on the boat or do anything too fast. Just keep it slow, go at a natural pace, and those fish will sit there and, uh, and you, can, you can easily get easily get a good amount of pinfish per cast. So again, just over every once in a while, just make sure to keep them, keep them interested, keep them there in the right spot. At this point, I'm starting to make, the, make it a little bit more compact so that this, that bait chum is gonna stay in one ball and it's gonna go straight down to the bottom. When I throw the net, I actually want those pinfish on the bottom because when, they, when the, the net hits, they're used to birds and they go straight down. I want them to go straight down because the net is gonna be more likely to go grab them. So now we have a boat wake that's gonna take us out of our, out of our line. We're, we're uh, secured by the power pole in the back. So I just have to be mindful of exactly where that bait ball is going because our boat's gonna be pushed, up, pushed forward for a bit and it'll eventually settle back down. So now the shadow is actually getting into play. So now based on that wake, I'm gonna have to wait just a little bit longer to, uh, to make sure that we just get as many, as many pinfish as possible. All right, so now we finally settled back in. I'm gonna do the final I guess that's the, that's the second to last one. So I do one big toss, then I set the bucket down gently, right? No banging on the boat. That's the worst thing you can do. And now I'm getting the net ready. I've already cleared it. If you don't know what clearing is, I'll put a link down below to the cast net tutorial, but you wanna make sure you clear your net. So I have it ready. I, I do the, the double, the, the double method where I, I don't split it into three, I split it into two. So I get it pretty much ready to go. This will be the last chunk. Again, get it nice and, uh, nice and hard. We've got another boat wake coming, so we're gonna get the cast in before that wake messes us up. Yeah, there's a lot down there. Got an eye on it. And now we're just gonna give it a cast. So what I did is I just casted right over the spot where I've been throwing the chum. I had that one last chum, it was a big one. And I cast it right in the, I just had, I just tried to make sure that, that that chum was basically right in the middle. And when you're in seagrass, one trick is to kind of uh, just slowly drag it along the grass. Cause a lot of those pinfish, they go straight down. And when you, when you drag it up, it'll kick them up out of the grass and they'll go right into the net. So a lot of these are small. We do have a ton of them, like a ton of small ones there, but the bigger ones are up top. And again, at a dollar a piece, Oh, we have some white bait showing up too. So white bait just started showing up. So now we can sit here a little bit longer and get some white bait. But a dollar a piece, we've got a good amount of pinfish and even better, we have this white bait. So super cool. That was a, a quick chum. So now knowing that white bait's around, I'm gonna put a little bit more chum in the water, dump this bait in, and we're gonna have a ton of white bait here in just a little bit. All right, so the fact that white bait's around, we're gonna go ahead and try to get some of those as well. We have a, a decent amount of pinfish in that first cast. I've just been, been going right back in that same spot over and over again. I'm seeing white bait, I'm seeing pinfish, and, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and get, get after it here pretty quick. So same thing, right? Throw some out, then start getting the net ready. Let me first clear the net, just make sure that we don't have any, any issues. Worst thing you can do is throw a through a little quarter moon. All right, so one final chum. Get a nice big one right there in the spot. As soon as they come up on, I'm gonna throw a net on them. There we are. That 
That one wasn't a perfect cast, but it is good enough. It should get a decent amount of bait. Okay, so we have a decent amount of fish up in there. Yeah, some real nice white bait, some nice pinfish. Again, a dollar a pop on those pinfish. That was probably a $20 cast. Plus we got some extremely good white bait. I mentioned white bait. Well, the, here it is right here. This is a sort of pilchard. It's also called scale sardines, but extremely good bait fish. This is a nice bonus when you're out there trying to catch some pinfish. All right, well, that's it. We got enough bait to, uh, to handle what we need for the day. We, don't, we just have a short trip. And if you need more bait, you can just keep chumming, right? You throw the net. It's gonna spook the bait off for a second. You're, you're gonna catch most, but not all. And if you keep chumming, the bait will return and then more will come as well. So you can sit here and just catch as much bait fish as you need. If you're looking for a good chum, I highly recommend this. It's called Blackout Chum. This is something we came up with. It comes with a scoop. It has directions on exactly how to use it. This is idiot proof. Anybody could use it. And, uh, and it's just easy, it flat out works. As you saw there, we're just going after pinfish. We got a good amount of pinfish. We got some great bonus pilchards. And now we're gonna go out here and have a, a good time on the flats. So if you need this, I'll put a link down below. It's on our, on our, uh, on our tackle store at fishstrong.com. If you have any questions at all about this process, just leave a comment down below. I'd love to answer any questions you have. And for those who do buy this, we do, we do have a mini course as well that goes through everything you need on where to find bait, where not to go, right? It's just as importantly how to position your boat, all the details there, everything you need to consistently catch bait fish with this chum. So that's it for now. Thank you once again for your time. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee you'll be catching more fish while saving time and money. We do that through premium education, through our exclusive insider community, and through huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.